To those who don't know much about the moon, they just see it as a big rock that orbits our Earth and lights up our night sky. But there is more to the moon than that which meets the eye. The moon is full of wonder, which is why you're probably here, because I suspect that a little rumour has found its way to you. A rumour that speculates that there is gold on the moon. Is this the case? If so, how much gold is on the moon? Whatever precious metals can also be found there? Well, here is everything you are going to want to know. So before I give you the answer, I would just like to give you the opportunity to hit the like button. And if at any point you're enjoying this video, then do hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe as well. So is there gold on the moon? There is in fact gold on the moon and it's situated underneath the lunar surface. How much gold is on the moon is unconfirmed but it is anticipated to be a quarter of the Earth's gold infantry, which is 244,000 metric tonnes. It is believed the gold arrived from asteroids that collided with the surface of the moon. Naturally, we want to know how much gold is on the moon, and it is very difficult to calculate. But one thing we know for sure is that it won't be as much as there is on Earth. And as Earth is about four times bigger than the Moon, we could probably guess that there will be a quarter of Earth's gold inventory on the Moon. So how do we know this? Well, back in 2009, during a NASA mission, a rocket slammed into the Moon's surface. Later on, a second spacecraft travelled to investigate the blast. Here, the crew discovered that the Moon's lunar surface contained various compounds. Included within the surface was, of course, gold. You see, the Moon is made up of various layers. On the initial surface layers, you have the likes of iron, aluminium, or alum aluminum, titanium, magnesium, silicon, calcium, and even oxygen. But when you dig underneath the Moon's crust, you'll find a mesmerising array of compounds, and the much coveted gold is one of them. How much is there? Well, don't get your hopes up. You won't find more gold on the Moon than you would on Earth. We're blessed, or cursed, depending on your outlook on life, with an abundance of the stuff. Now, of course, the main reason Earth has more gold than the Moon is that it is just so much bigger than it. Earth is about four times bigger than the Moon, Naturally, you will therefore find more gold on the Earth than you likely will on the Moon. That's not to say there isn't much gold on the Moon. There is plenty. Enough to make a Moon targeted heist worth it, I'd say. If not for the gold, at least for the view up there. Calculating how much gold is on the Moon, though, is a difficult task for various reasons, including that of we haven't even started mining the Moon yet. But we do know how much gold has been found on Earth at least roughly. To date, approximately 244,000 metric tonnes of gold have been recovered. Of course, there is probably a lot more still hiding in the Earth's crust. But just so you know, 244,000 metric tonnes is a lot, and I mean a lot of gold. As I've said already, there will be less gold on the Moon because it is only a quarter of the size of Earth, approximately. So let's get hypothetical here. If we know there is at least 244,000 metric tonnes of gold on Earth, then we can probably assume that there is likely to be around a quarter of that on the Moon. That would mean that the Moon has approximately 61,000 metric tonnes of gold. Quite a lot of gold, I'd say. So I have briefly touched upon it, but why is there gold on the Moon? Well, there is gold on the Moon because over time, asteroids have crashed into it depositing gold they contained into the Moon's lunar surface. So asteroids have a big part to play when it comes to spreading the wealth of the universe. And scientists believe that the closer an object is to the asteroid belt, the more likely they are to be hit by one, which in turn means they are more likely to possess vaster quantities of gold and other precious metals over time. Again, I've recently touched upon this, but you're probably wondering if there are other metals on the Moon. Well, there are, and they include silver, aluminium or aluminum, magnesium, platinum, iron and titanium. So yes, it's not just gold lurking up there. 
you'll fly, find plenty of other metals within the lunar surface as well. And you can tell which type of metals are located on the moon's surface just by examining the shade and colour of it. For example, lighter areas on the moon contain elements that we put a slightly smaller monetary value on back here on Earth. Now these include aluminium or aluminum, magnesium, platinum, iron and titanium. But you can also find other metals on the moon that have a higher monetary value, such as silver. And as far as we know, gold is still the most precious metal to have been found on the moons. A question that you'll be keen to find the answer to. Can you mine gold on the moon? Well, humans can mine gold on the moon, and they have already started doing so. But it costs a lot of money to fund, as highly technical equipment is required. Now, I'm sure that once many of you discovered that there was gold on the moon, this was naturally your next question. Can you fly up there and start mining straight away? After all, the gold doesn't belong to anyone. No one lives on the moon, so who would you be stealing it from? Well, if you can find a way to travel up to the moon, mine it of its gold, then transport all that gold, which is very heavy, by the way, all the way back to Earth, then good for you. Well done. You, you deserve it. It's mightily impressive. But it's unrealistic. For a start, you'd need lots of gold of your own and money to actually fund such an expedition. So let's just put your space heist ambitions aside for a moment and talk about whether humans can mine the gold on the moon. Well, because if anyone is going to do this, it's the people who have been travelling up to the moon and exploring it so far. The space agencies and companies such as NASA. And the truth is that they are already at it. Space exploration company Moon Expressal regularly sends expeditions to the moon to mine its gold and other useful resources. But as I've already alluded to, it's costing them a pretty penny uh, just to do it. Space travel isn't cheap, after all. In the future, there is talk that robots will car carry out these gold mining activities, which would avoid the extreme risk that there is to human life for such pursuits. Now, you might be wondering if mining gold from the moon is a smart move. At the end of the day, we need the moon, so we can't mine away at it until it's all gone. Luckily, mining gold on the moon will have very little impact. You see, the moon has a mass of 73 quadrillion tonnes. If humans were to mine and consequently remove 1 million metric tonnes of materials on a daily basis, it would take 220 million years to deplete just 1% of the moon's mass. Such a depletion would have no impact on the moon's ability to perform its duties that we rely on. So back to the gold on the moon's worth. Well, it is estimated that the gold on the moon is currently worth around $800 billion. Of course, this is all subject, subject to change based on the price of gold. But let's walk through how I got to this number. Gold on Earth is currently worth around $55,000 per kilo. Now, gold on the moon, while still much more impressive, is still ultimately gold. So let's assume it's of the same value. So 61,000 metric tonnes of gold is 61 million kilograms of gold. And 61 million kilograms times that $55,000 valuation gets us to that 800 billion. So that's 800 with 12 zeros after it, by the way. So worth going and getting some, right? Well, maybe not. As I've suggested so far in this video, although we can mine gold on the moon at the moment, it isn't cost effective. Funding the entire expedition costs a hell of a lot of the money. So, so much that your profit may not be anywhere near what this actual, the value of gold may actually be. Of course, for mining gold, it needs to be made cost effective. Now consider that the International Space Station costs four billion a year to run. So you do the maths, space exploration is expensive. Now you might be right in thinking that gold from the moon would come with an added value, simply because, well, it's gold from the moon. It's gold from space. Still, it would still be viewed in very much the same way. It would still be seen as gold. So there's no life on the moon, but there is gold. We have those crazy asteroids to thank for that. But until we can find a way to make mining of it cost effective, obtaining gold from the moon, even though it is immensely valuable, 
is likely going to cost us a lot more than it's worth. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please do hit the like button. That tells me I should continue making videos like this and do consider subscribing to my channel. If you head over to my channel, you will find other videos like this. Uh, I've got a whole playlist on astronomy if you are looking to learn more. And if you hit the bell button, then you'll be notified of when I release new videos just like this.